These are our physical education learning goals for this unit on jumping rope. Let's look at the yellow box. Students should be able to perform and recite the jump rope learning sequence. Remember, perform means actually doing it and moving your body. Recite means you should be able to say this to yourself to help you and guide you. Say the cues. Those are the words and the small directions to help us move. So first we learn line jumps by putting the jump rope down on the ground. Then we practice wide and slow arm circles. Just turning the rope. Then we turn first and step over the rope with our feet. Then we turn first, then jump. Look at the green box. There are two fitness components that are used during jump rope. Remember, there are five fitness components in all exercise and PE. Two of them that are used for jump rope are cardio, cardiovascular endurance. Remember, cardio means heart. And the second one is muscular endurance. Remember, your body moving over and over again with really light weight, usually for only up to one to two minutes. The more you exercise, the longer it becomes cardio. And let's look at the blue box. Identify two places on your body to check your heart rate. Remember, we have learned the carotid, which is near your neck, and the radial, near your wrist. Our final performance goal for this unit. I want you to perform a basic, intermediate, or advanced jump rope based on your jump rope journey. That means everybody's at different learning levels. I want you to try something that is a little bit more challenging for you. You get to pick one and then you get to perform it for coach at the end of the unit, okay? And we'll discuss that more as these lessons progress. So here are a quick uh, slideshow presentation just of what we have learned as far as cardio, muscular endurance, and where our two places are to check our heart rate. After that, coach is going to progress through our line jumps, arm circles, and then our main cues to jump rope. Follow along. Cardio, vascular endurance. This is the main fitness component used in jump and rope. Just a quick review. Remember cardio has Greek roots from the Greek language that refers to heart. Cardio means heart. Now there are lots of cardio exercises, but jumping rope is definitely one of them. Why? Because you use oxygen, you're breathing a lot, you're moving in a long, steady period of exercise, and it increases heart rate. You're going to feel your heart pumping. The second fitness component used in jumping rope is muscular endurance. Okay, just a quick review. We're not going to go over all this because we have already in our five components of fitness unit. But just a reminder, muscular endurance is the ability of your muscles or your muscle group, that means your whole body and the muscles together, exerting a force repeatedly. Now this is usually lightweight and it lasts no more than a few minutes before rest and oxygen is required. So a good way to remember this is if you start off doing muscular endurance, after about close to a minute or two, you're going to start noticing you're going to be breathing heavier and heavier, and that becomes cardio. So muscular endurance starts it off with repetition, and then it becomes cardio. So I always say muscular endurance and cardio are like best friends. They work together quite often but sometimes they are separate. This is a quick review on two easy ways to check your pulse. Remember, pulse is the same as your heart rate. 
this is a test or an assessment to see how hard your heart is working. So look at A. A says carotid. I always say it sounds like karate, kind of. Carotid. Use your index and your middle finger. Remember, don't use your thumb to feel around because your thumb has its own pulse and it can be confusing. So on A, use your two fingers. Feel around your neck between your ear and your chin underneath the jaw. And you should feel your heartbeat. Or look at B. B is another place to check. It's called radial. Radial kind of sounds like wrist. It's on your under part of your wrist where you wear your watch. Close to the thumb. Feel around. Remember, these are two ways to check your heart rate. They are both good. Neither one is better than the other. And it's a good way to assess. That means to test how hard your heart is working. All right, now it is time to jump. We just learned about our learning goals, our fitness components, and two ways to check our heart rate. Now we're gonna begin a jump rope learning sequence. That means all the steps to jump rope. But first, like I just showed you, here's a quick review of line jumps. Many ways we can do line jumps to practice learning to jump rope. And don't forget, any time that you get frustrated and you can't do a jump rope trick, or you're having, uh, you just really wanna, you can put the jump rope down and just practice line jumps, okay? So here's a quick video of some line jumps we can practice at home. I just want you guys to watch this, and then after that, we're gonna keep practicing using our ropes, okay? So those were line jumps. Coach teaches line jumps in kinder and first and second graders, but those are for all grade levels, even into middle school. They can help you practice learning to put your feet together and jump. Don't forget, you can also do line jumps if you get frustrated or you find jumping rope is hard for you. That's okay, just put your rope to the side, make a line with your rope on the ground and practice some line jumps, okay? It's a good way to still practice jumping. Now, everybody, get your jump ropes out and let's begin. Okay, we are going to begin with arm circles. The first thing we do when we handle our rope, okay? So, start with the rope behind you, okay? Behind your heels, feet are in front together, okay? All right, so we're going to practice big, wide, and slow arm circles, forward and backwards. Real big, real slow, wide arm circles, forward, wide arm circles, backward. That was even too fast. I want to say big, slow, wide arm circles, forward, backwards. We are not jumping yet, okay? Big, wide, forward, and slow arm circles. Let's do this for 30 seconds.
and backwards, forwards, and backwards. Oh, that was a little too fast. Forwards, and backwards. Now it is time for steps, okay? The cues are turn first, then step. So start with the rope behind you. We're going to start with forward, and we're going to practice backward, or backwards. The cues are turn first, then step. We are still using slow and wide arm circles. Don't throw the rope, okay? So follow coach. Start behind you. You're going to turn first, see the rope, and step the rope. Okay? Turn first, then step. Okay, one more time. Big turn, turn first, then step. Okay? Now we can practice backward or backwards. So big slow turn backward, turn first, and step backwards. Turn first, then step. Okay, now back to forward. Turn first, hard on the rope, then step. Let's practice 30 seconds of steps. Okay, now it is time for actual real jumping rope, okay? Remember, 
if you can only jump once or twice, or it's very hard for you to just jump the rope while it's turning, go back to snakes or practice arm circles. Or you can even put the jump rope on the ground and practice line jumps. That's okay. As long as you're moving your body and trying. Okay? Now, jumping rope. I always say turn first, then jump. Okay? But instead of a snake, you're going to jump the rope while it's still moving and coming around. Okay? Look at the rope coming down before you jump it. Okay? So turn first and then jump the rope. Okay? Big wide slow turn, turn. Turn first, then jump. Turn first, then jump. Now, maybe you try two. Let's see if coach can do two. Turn first, then jump. One, two. Okay, I got two. And maybe I practice three, or four, or five. Okay? Now you practice with me. Turn first, then jump. Okay? 30 seconds. Okay, try your best. Remember, slow, wide arm circles. Okay, ready. And turn first, then jump. Turn first, then jump. Turn first, then jump. Now, you can also practice backwards. Turn first, then jump. Turn first, then jump. Okay, a single bounce. This is the first trick you learn once you start getting that engine going. The rope's going and you're jumping at the same time. Maybe you can do a couple jumps in a row. Single means one time. That means you're going to jump one time, which I call a bounce, up on your toes every time you turn the rope. So single bounce. Let's do it for 30 seconds. Just one bounce on those toes. Single means one. Turn first, then jump. Whoa, if you mess up, that is okay. Double bounce. Double means two, like a double cheeseburger. That sounds tasty. So I am going to bounce on my toes two times before the rope comes around to jump it. Okay? Follow me. It takes some practice, but some kids find this easier or just as easy as a single bounce. Okay? Remember to turn first wide and slow and jump. Bounce, bounce, jump. Bounce, bounce, jump. Okay, let's do 30 seconds. All right, try double jump. Bounce, bounce, 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 